Welcome to another screencast of SQL Tidbits, where we give you just a tidbit to keep you coming back for more. In today's example, I'll be showing you how to use the select into statement to accomplish a number of things. Uh, particularly today, I'm going to be focused on helping you define the data types of a particular view or system view, and also uh, to assist your development in uh, creating copies of data very quickly, backup copies and such. So let me just show you how this works. We have the uh, demos database here that we'll be using, So, I, and then we're going to select from sysobjects. Now, I get asked this question of where is sysobjects? Well, sysobjects is really a part of every database, and you'll find it in Management Studio under Views, System Views, and if we scroll down way past the information, schema objects you'll see sys dot and it's a whole lot of different things sys files uh, but of course we can see the uh, sys objects right here so sys dot sys objects now that's a system view which exposes some things that you otherwise could not see so let's go ahead and, and if we run this query you'll see that uh, we get all the objects that are within this database now this database doesn't happen to have anything other than system type uh, if, if they had user tables, it would be a U, uh, triggers or TR, and so on and so forth. There's various types, and you can learn all that. But really what I'm after today is, what are the definitions of each of these columns? And where do I find that? You know, Can I go to sysobjects and, and script this out as a table? Uh, I can't do that. Um, I could look here, but how do I, how do I get at it? How do I uh, define all these without copying them over uh, one by one? So, there's a couple of challenges we're going to solve here. So what I want to show you is with the select into is very simple. All you have to do is start writing your select statements a little differently. And just learn to write your select statements with all the select and all the columns that you want. And then start a new line for your from. Once you do that, it's very simple. All you have to do after that is write the into right after the, the final column in the select and before the from. So I could say, for example, select into uh, my sys object. Now, this is a temporary table that, that's going to be created. And when I do that, you'll see it says 53 rows affected. Now I can select from my sys objects. I can spell that right. And there's the same 53 rows that were there. I can also do this into an actual table. So I could persist this, select into my sys objects as a table. And if I run this, this uh, the, uh, now we have 54 rows, and if we go ahead and look at this database, back up here to the top, and if we refresh tables, we'll now see that we have a my sys objects table, which has the columns and everything, but what's nice about this is I can actually script it out, script table as create to new query window, and here I will have the actual definition of the table which I can then use. This is very useful for views so if you have a view like here we had a system view but if you had a view of multiple tables and you just needed to somehow store that in a table but you didn't want to go to each of the individual tables and grab the field definitions for each of those tables that comprise the view simply use this technique to select into a, a, a table which you can later drop uh, but it'll give you the definition of all the, of all those fields, so very very handy. Uh, and just I should mention this sys name by the way is nvarchar128. In case you are wondering, that's a system defined type that is equal to nvarchar128. So that that's how you can work with that. You can also use this technique to make backup copies of your table. So let's say you're about ready to perform a, uh, and now I'm going to use my sys object as my base. Let's say I was going to perform some kind of uh, deal on my sys objects, but I wanted to make a backup. So I can call this underscore BAK, and I can select from dbo.mysysobjects, and select that into my sys objects backup. And now I will have a backup copy of the table. I can go ahead and truncate my sys objects, do any other manipulation I want to do that, and always get the data back. By, by copying the data back. So that's a very quick way to make a backup of the tables. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, screencast. Uh, we're at SQL Tidbits, where we give you just a little bit to keep coming back for more.